Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today po is I'll be sharing to you most of the common na mga reasons na sinasabi ng mga law students why they want to become a lawyer. So if you're interested then please keep on watching. By the way, I'm Jeremiah and I upload law school and law student related vlogs. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to click subscribe and click the notification bell sa tabi na subscribe or you can just simply click the click here in a circle dyan sa my corner. So let's get to the video. Hey guys, and yes po, welcome nga po to another video. So today po is I'm going to share to you some common nga po na mga reasons na sinasabi po ng mga law students why they decide or why they choose to proceed to law school or why they want to become a lawyer. I think some of you will relate to some of the things that I'm going to discuss today. This is po is very helpful, especially sa mga incoming law students because nab nabanggit ko na po sa previous ko na video that during po sa first day o di kaya sa first week sa law school, your professor professors will be asking you why did you decide to proceed to law school or why do you want to become a lawyer someday. Uh, if you cannot think of any reasons yet then this might be helpful to you. Po. And later on po sa, at the end part of this video I will be discussing to you guys my personal reason why I decided to proceed to law school and eventually hoping to become a lawyer. So please keep on watching po until the end of the video. Okay? So let's start. Yung una po is, it is their childhood dream. So they want to proceed to law school or they want to become a lawyer because it is their childhood na dream. Bata pa lang sila, it gusto nilang mag lawyer. I mean, yes, some people will think it's corny or cheesy. But guys, there's nothing wrong with that. And as a matter of fact po, I envy those people who says na they want to become a lawyer because it is their childhood dream. Why? Because po, ibig sabihin niyan, nung bata pa lang po sila is they have already laid down their plans to become a lawyer. So like, bata pa lang sila, they already have the ambition na maging abogado someday. So unlike me po, na nung bata ako talagang wala or never ko talagang inisip na mag to law school. Why? Because po, if you don't know, I grew up from a poor family, from a poor na environment. So I think you can, some of you can relate, di ba? Your ambition in life will be influenced by, by your environment, by your surrounding. For example, nung bata ako, I was parang sinasabi ng mga tao na yung pag-abogado, yung pagdo-doktor is para lang sa mayayaman, para lang sa matatalino. Eh, tayo, hindi tayo ganyan. So, those courses are not for us. So, lumaki ako na parang never in my mind that I will decide to proceed to law school. Kasi yun nga, yung ambition ko, yung dream ko was also limited sa mga resources na meron ako. So, parang ganun. So, again, there's nothing wrong if you're going to say na I want to become a lawyer because it is my childhood dream. So, if you say that one, if that is your reason, then congratulations po because my plan of talaga kayo sa buhay. Meron din po mga nagme-message sa akin na mga graduating sa junior high school. So, they're asking me kung ano bang dapat kunin for senior high school na tra kasi nga, they want to proceed to law school after college. They really are planning na kung anong tra sa senior high school, tapos sa college kung anong magandang pre-law course. So, parang ganun guys. So, meaning, it is really their childhood na dream. Yeah, if that is your reason, then congratulations po and I envy you po. Next! Next po is, they want to become a lawyer and they proceed to law school because they want to help the needy. They want to help the poor. They want to help the people. Actually, this reason po, marami pa akong narinig na ganitong reason during our introduction nung first year. So, parang nasabi ko nga, wow, grabe naman itong mga tao na to. Parang, pwede bang ako na lang yung people para ako na lang yung tulungan ninyo. Parang ganun, guys. Because, hindi ko rin po naisip na gusto kong maging abogado or gusto kong mag-proceed sa law school para makatulong sa iba. Isipin nyo yun, hindi ko talaga na naisip yun na gusto ko makatulong sa ibang tao. Parang sabi ko, ang babait naman ng mga tao na to na parang gusto nilang maging abogado to help other people. So again, if this is your reason, then congratulations po. I hope na you'll continue to have that reason until the end of your law school journey. Next po na reason is they belong to a family of lawyers. So, meron din po ako mga kaklase na they want to become a lawyer and decided to proceed to law school kasi nga yung parents nila, yung grandparents nila, yung mga tito o titita nila are lawyers. So, basically, may dugong lawyer po sila sa family nila. So, yun din, I personally, parang sabi ko, wow, grabe, ang swerte naman kasi yun nga, they grow up from an environment kung saan namumold yung, yung perception nila, yung plans nila for the future. Yun nga, sabi ko nga kanina, 
I didn't have that environment before. So, these people grew up from a family of like established na talaga na yung plans nila sa future. Growing up, they've seen their father, their parents na mga lawyer. So, parang gusto ko rin maging tulad ni papa, gusto ko rin maging tulad ni mommy or, or whatever. So, parang ganun guys. So, if this is you, then there's nothing wrong with that. Just say that sa, sa kaklase nyo. Ang downside lang po talaga pag ganun, di ba? I'm not saying, I'm not trying to ano the, those people ha. But, yun lang din, nabanggit din nung isang kaklase ko na parang ang downside lang to having this family of lawyers is the pressure is nasa sa inyo because since your parents, your grandparents, yung relatives nyo are already lawyers, so yung pressure is talagang you have to become a lawyer as well. Parang ganun. Sabi, ah okay, so hindi rin man pala maganda all the time to have those people around you na lawyer because you are pressured to become one of them din. So again, but I'm not judging any anybody. So if that is your reason, then yeah. Now, next naman po na reason why some of the students want to become a lawyer or to proceed to law school because they want to become a more effective na politician. Guys, sa law school po, there will be some of those students or classmates nyo po who are involved in politics. So, siguro some of them are nasa LGU or sa local na government, siguro nasa barangay level o di kaya nasa city level or municipal level or whichever na level. So, some of those decided to proceed to law school because they really want to learn more about the Philippine justice system or sa government laws natin sa Philippines for them to improve their services as a politician or is as a public servant. So, if that's you then good for you po because you are really planning to grow as a politician as a more effective po na public servant. Meron din po ako mga kaklase ngayon who are SK na chairman o di kaya parang counselor is it counselor or di ko rin masyadong sure basta they are working po sa government elected na officials sa kanilang mga lugar. Next po, some naman po have decided to proceed to law school because sabi nila sayang naman po yung yung course nila nung college kung hindi nila gagamitin for, for law school because they have chosen a course nung college na that could be considered a good na pre-law course. Like for example, legal management o di kaya political science or accountancy. So some of my classmates, they said na they wanted to proceed to law school and become a lawyer kasi nga yung course naman nila nung college is in line talaga sa law. So if that's you, then ibig sabihin din po is, is that meron talaga kayong plano ma-proceed sa law school. Sabi din po nila na magiging mas effective yung natapos nila na course nung college if they will proceed to law school. Kasi nga, yung pre-law is in line sa law. ba? Yes, eventually din kasi if natapos mo tong ganito na course nung college, tapos i-add mo pa yung degree mo sa law, sabi nila is malaking promotion din yun tapos eventually, mas makakatulong din talaga sa kanila financially. So parang ganun guys. Next naman po, some of law students will say they want to become a lawyer because they want to protect their family. I mean, I'm not saying na may ano ha, may mga issues na serious issues. Hindi naman ganun, but some of the students kasi may mga pinagdadaanan na sa family or siguro sa kanila mga ari-arian or di kaya mga inheritance or whatever. So they wanted to become a lawyer because they want to protect whatever they have and they want to know their rights as for their properties as to whatever that concerns their family. Parang ganun guys. So again, iba-iba po tayo na reasons why we proceed to law school. So, nagkataon lang na, na meron silang pinagdadaanan na ganito sa family nila. Yun nga, may mga personal na hugot o tsaka personal na pinagdadaanan. So, yun po. Now, some naman po, they want to proceed to law school and become a lawyer because they want to be at par with their siblings. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng at par with their siblings? Parang, for example, ganito, meron po ako kaklase na yun talaga sabi niya yung introduction because I want to be at par with my sister. Kasi daw po, yung sister niya is now a medical doctor or a physician para maging, ano ba, parang in other words, in a simpler na term, parang maging ka-level sila nung, nung sister niya since she did not take any medical na field sa college hindi naman siya magiging doktor din. So, she just decided na to proceed to law school para maging ka-level siya na kanyang sister. Parang iniisip din niya kasi na parang pressure sa kanya na yung kapatid niya is nasa ganito na level sa profession tapos siya is parang gusto niya din at least malang daw maging pantay. Parang ganun. So, again guys, nasa inyo yan. If that is your reason, then there's nothing wrong with that. Next naman po, some of the law students decided to proceed to law school because they just want to learn the justice system sa Philippines. Especially what is happening ngayon sa bansa natin. Marami tayo nakita sa balita. We no longer know kung sino ang tama, kung ano ang tama, kung ano ang mali. Diba? So some of my classmates said na they have personal interest to knowing the justice system ng Philippines because yun nga sa napapanood nila, hindi na nila alam kung sino ang tama. They want to know kung ano bang tama at ano ang mali. They want to be informed about their right as to how 
they can protect themselves against any intrusion po or any illegal po na mga ganon with those people from position parang ganon so they really want to know their rights which is I think is malaking tulong po talaga sa atin ngayon because basta alam yun na you know what I mean di ba? malaking tulong talaga sa atin personally if you know your rights that's why mas maganda na meron tayong alam kung may alam tayo eh hindi tayo basta basta maabuso Next, I also have this classmate who said na he wanted to become a lawyer because he just want to become rich and famous. So yun po yung reason niya why he wanted to become a lawyer, why he decided to proceed to law school. When he said that in front sa klase namin, like buong klase nat natawa or parang bigla kami natawa sa sinabi niya because hindi namin inexpect yung sinabi niya. Uh, it wasn't funny per se, na, pero na natawa kami because we did not expect that coming from him because he looks serious. Parang ganun ba? So we, we really did not expect that coming. So, parang ganun. But personally, I don't see any wrong with that because yung nga, sabi ko kanina, we have our personal reasons why we decide to proceed to law school. Yung sa kanya naman is, gusto niya maging lawyer because may goal siya na maging rich and famous. Hindi naman lingid sa atin lahat na yung mga lawyers natin sa society, kung hindi man lahat, but most of them are living a, a very comfortable life. Tapos, pag lawyer ka din, medyo kilala ka talaga sa lipunan, di ba? I also remember uh, my story na Shinea yung professor namin she said na parang there was one time na na-involve sila sa isang collision yung sasakyan nila tapos yung isang sasakyan din sa isang crossing daw tapos sila yung nasa right of way talaga so technically wala silang kasalanan but yung isang driver sa kabilang sasakyan he was already shouting outside the car tapos pointing fingers but nung lumabas siya sa sasakyan medyo natameme yung, yung lalaki kasi parang kilala na siya sa lipunan na, na lawyer siya parang ganun ba I'm not saying na you can use the The, the profession for your advantage. Yung nangyari, yung lalaki sabi niya, ay, attorney, ikaw pala yan. Uh, paano ba? Ayun, nag-explain siya. At least man lang, hindi naging physicalan yung hindi lumala yung argument. But instead, medyo natapos yung yung accident na yun or yung conflict na yun in a good way. Walang nagkasakitan, walang nagka-physicalan. Parang ganun ba? So yun guys, if you want to become a lawyer for you to become rich and famous, then yeah, why not? And last po, I think this will be my last. Uh, napansin ko po sa, sa klase namin. May isa po kaming kaklase na sabi niya, he want to become a lawyer because he just feel like he is destined to become a lawyer. Yun lang yung sinabi niya na parang malakas yung pakiramdam niya na magiging lawyer siya. Tapos nakita niya sa panaginip niya na, na magiging lawyer siya. So kami parang ayos to. Uh. Some people will find it funny. But again, sabi ko nga po, we have different reasons why we proceed to law school. And there is nothing wrong with that. If that will help you to, to move forward with those reasons, then there's nothing wrong with that. So, yun po. So, yun lang guys. Those are the common reasons po na sinasabi ng mga sudyante why they wanted to become a lawyer or why they decided to proceed to law school. So, right now naman po, I'm going to share to you my personal reason why I decided to proceed to law school and yes, hope to become a lawyer. Kasi nga, wala nang pong kasiguraduhan. I personally, I'm gonna say na hindi naman sure talaga that I will become a lawyer but I'm still hoping to become one. So, this is my reason guys. So I remember during po nung first meeting namin sa isang prof namin, tinanong niya kami isa-isa, okay, why do you want to become a lawyer? Introduce yourself. What is your reason why you want to become a lawyer? So ito yung sinabi ko. I cannot remember talaga word by word kung ano yung sinabi ko, like verbatim talaga. But what I said was, because personally napansin ko that our justice system sa Philippines is, this is just my, ano ha, my reason, is like unfair. Our justice system favors only the rich, the influential and the powerful and sabi ko rin na I realize na ako or my family is neither of the three we're not rich we're not influential and we're not powerful so medyo nakakatakot guys if ano mang mangyari in the future and napapanood ko rin sa sa TV sa mga balita na most of the oppressed are usually poor parang ganun ba yung mga walang kapangyarihan talaga yung mga walang kapangyarihan mas madaling mahuli mas mabilis ma makonvict parang ganun because yun nga we're not part of the rich, the influential, and the powerful people sa society. So, yun yung sinabi ko. So, I decided to proceed to law school because I want to protect myself, my family. I want security for myself and for my family as well. And yes, I want to become powerful. Yun talaga yung sinabi ko, guys. I want protection, security, and power. Kasi, di ba, guys, if you have knowledge about your rights, if you know about the law, the system, you will become powerful. Hindi ka basta-basta na maabuso ng iba. Kasi nga, you know your rights. And I also 
believe this is cliche, this is funny, but I really believe that knowledge is power. I really want to gain knowledge about our legal system dito sa Philippines because, yun nga, knowledge is power, di ba? So, that was my personal reason why I decided to proceed to law school and hoping to become a lawyer. Lastly pala, uh, before I forget, we have different reasons why we wanted to become a lawyer, why we decided to proceed to law school. Huwag po kayong panghinaan, huwag po kayong ma-discourage by your reasons because, di ba, some of the reasons I discussed were technically selfish. Like for example, we want to become rich and famous, we want personally to learn about our rights only, parang ganon. We never thought of helping other people, we just want to become a lawyer because we want protection and security for ourselves. Those reasons may sound selfish face but guys wag po kayong panghinaan ng loob to proceed to law school just because you have those selfish po na mga reasons i tell you po sa law school you will eventually grow di ba yung reason ko po kanina sabi ko i want i just want protection security and power for my family and for myself di ba technically that is a selfish reason to tell you po honestly when i started to learn more about the justice system sa philippines when i started to learn about our rights as citizens of the philippines parang na realize ko po na wow, I think dapat lahat ng tao alam ito, alam nila yung rights nila so eventually, I started to think na maganda sana pag alam to ng lahat ng tao I started to think of other people, so my point is whatever your reason at first magbabago yan guys eventually, because po you will grow sa law school, you'll become a more open-minded person and you will think of other people as well, again your reasons for now may be selfish but I tell you eventually magbabago pa yan for the better I think those are the things that I can discuss to you today. So I hope na may na-learn kayo something. And please guys, if you have any comments about this video, please pakicomment yan sa baba. If you have any questions po, if I said something offensive, insensitive, or wrong, please let me know guys. And sorry for that, if ever. Tapos, kayo po, what are your reasons or what is your reason why you decided to proceed to law school or why do you want to become a lawyer someday? Please let me know po sa my comment section below. If you have any suggestions, if you have any questions please don't forget to write that one below and again i encourage you to follow me sa aking ibang social media accounts tapos please visit also my site which is lawpressure.com again if you find this one informative and helpful please don't forget to leave this one a thumbs up please po click the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed yet i-click nyo na rin yung notification bell sa tabi ng subscribe okay so yun lang guys thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video